Welcome. In front of me is an Honor X6B and today I will quickly show you how you can go to the setup process of this device. When you boot it up for the very first time you'll be presented with the language selection and all you need to do is just find your desired language. For me it's already selected English so that's good. Next we can select get started and choose our region, United Kingdom. No, definitely wouldn't want to be even associated with that place so I'm going to ch change it to my region there we go now selecting region is honestly kind of irrelevant as far as i can tell it doesn't really affect the device whatsoever now on the next page we have terms of use so you can tap on the details button right here and here to read exactly what you're agreeing to and once you have done so you can then check the box uh check box right here and go to the next page which will allow you to insert your sim card this step is optional and you can skip it if you don't want to do it and you also have the Wi-Fi connection page on the next page, which is another way you can connect to network. Uh, and if you choose to skip both of those steps, uh, your device will not have um, any kind of internet connection while going to the setup. Therefore, for instance, restoring backups from a cloud won't be available to you, date and time won't be set automatically, and you won't have the page to log into Google account shot throughout the setup process. Now, all of this can be changed later on after the setup has been completed by just going into the settings. So here's the date and time, just gonna go to the next page. Next we have Google services and we have things like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of these off but it's from Google so let's be honest and uh, not, not kid ourselves like turning those off would mean much to Google. There is reasons why corpos are getting class action lawsuits left and right and it's not because they're the trustworthy bunch. So I'm just gonna go to the next page which presents me with data and privacy, which is again very rich coming from Honor. Um, so I'm just gonna ignore this again. Obviously uh, back there you also had the details button to read exactly uh, which, what they consider data and privacy and then uh, in probably the most vague terms uh, how they're gonna be circumventing that. Um, anyway, uh, next we have device protection. Here we have several different ways of protecting our device. So we have fingerprint, face recognition, and then under password, we have pin pattern or password. Now the first two options are biometrics. So these are not always 100% reliable. In the times where they're not reliable, I can use the pin pattern or password. As even if you choose one of these or both of the biometric options, fingerprint or face recognition, both, you will always be required to select pin pattern or password for the sole reason that the biometrics isn't 100% reliable. Um, and additionally, you don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, though I do not recommend doing that. Uh, it's also something that I will be doing, though. Next, we have enhanced services. You can go over this and see what it is. And that'll give you the option to opt out of it, so no thanks if you want to do that, which is what I'll be ch checking for most of those. User experience improvement programs, again, later. Uh, most of these just sound like they're going to be gathering data, which I never really even bothered checking them out. But if you're interested in something, you can totally check it out and agree to it. Uh, my general kind of approach to this is I don't have any benefit from this for the most part. So there's no reason for me to give my data away for free without me getting something in return. And a uh, 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 vague way of, I don't know, improving services is not a good, uh, good enough reward for basically selling your data because your device is supposed to work out of the fucking box so if it's not then it's not doing the, the sole thing that it's being sold for anyway now um here we have location services so this is something that you can select later and i think it's going to turn off location services in general like uh, the toggle that you have uh, which most applications require it um to just function for no reason to be completely frank with you um so when you try to open up such an application, it will tell you that you need to enable your location and uh, when you do, it will start working. If you choose to not give it access to location or have it turned off, the app just straight up won't work. And that's a lot of application that don't really have much of a reason to have your location that will string hold the functionality of the application based on location. Um, next, we have keep your software up to date. Uh, so this is just software updates. Uh, you have the uh, enable and continue button and it looks like it's the only option here but the blue text is if you don't want to have it uh, update uh, automatically you can click on update manually and then select 
don't enable, I believe, right? It's such a vague term that I'm not even sure if saying, selecting don't enable is the correct way or enable. Because what am I, enabling manual update or not enabling the overnight software update? So, to be completely honest, I have no haven't really checked which option is the correct one. Anyway, um, system navigation, pretty self-explanatory. Gesture, buttons, choose whichever one you prefer. And this should take us to the home screen. There we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.